It's hard to believe it's 10 years. Uh, look at the photos when I arrived and it looks like I've got a younger brother and I haven't got a younger brother. But you know, I've been chief of the place that I grew up for 10 years and that's something I would never have dreamt of as a kid uh, and probably still don't quite believe is happening sometimes even though I'm here and it is happening. It's been an amazing 10 years for the place. You know, Richard III, you can't make that up. I mean, I do a gag now when I present. I'm the, the world's leading police authority on burying medieval kings. Because um, we probably are. Leicester City winning the premiership and then going through to the, the helicopter crash and the awfulness and sadness of that. And then there's kind of what we do every day. And you know, people know I like rugby and I talk in rugby about someone's got to do the hard yards. You can't just always be scoring the try in the corner. We do a lot of hard yards and the team are fantastic 24 seven, whatever the weather, whatever's going on. Uh, we've got brilliant, brilliant people. So some amazing achievements, but the nature of what we do, some of those achievements are difficult things. You know, some of the convictions for serious crime that we've achieved, that I'm so, so proud of but I'd rather the crime hadn't happened in the first place. So uh, amazing things and uh, brilliant people work for us and with us and they're fantastic. Uh, and what they do every day is a massive motivator for me and I know the rest of the senior team. I think the hardest thing has been austerity. You know, operationally, we, we can respond, we're trained, we know what we're doing, we're good, we work with brilliant partners who are hugely supportive. And you can see that now, you know, I'm talking to you with my lockdown haircut, um, you know, we're locked down. The partnership response has been amazing, but I think the hardest thing has been austerity. You know, the pace with which austerity came on, we spend most of our money on people having to reduce and redesign under intense financial pressure. Um, you know, when I started as chief, I had 2,300 cops. When I'd been here a few years, I had 500 fewer. Now staff do a fantastic role as well, uh, I wouldn't want to underplay that at all, but to lose that many of your cops, really, really hard to redesign and not popular with the public either. You know, the public always want to see more policing in my experience. So austerity has been the hardest thing coming in, you know, as every day. You know, there's been some tough things have happened. Hinkley Road, a dreadful thing. I'll never forget being called about that. The helicopter going down at the King Power, I was on call. I'll never forget being called about that. I get quite emotional about policing. It's all I've ever done. I went to university. I joined policing when I was 21. Um, I find, you know, what we do every day is amazing. I find our awards ceremonies profoundly moving when I hear about and get to say thank you to people who've done remarkable things. They might have talked someone on the phone from taking their own life. They might have saved a life by the first aid they've given. They might have investigated something in a way that's never been done before. Those are the things that mean a lot to me because we make a difference in what we do every day and it gets lost sometimes in the noise of, of the world and the noise of the media. Uh, we do thousands and thousands of really good things. There was a particular family who were victims of something and they wrote to me and they wrote me a letter that if you were to join today, I would talk to you about. Because basically what they said was, this is what happened to us and it was awful. And every single person that we dealt with in the force, you should be proud of them. And you looked at what we achieved there in awful circumstances. And at the end of it, the family felt that they wanted to say thank you and make sure that I let all those people know about what the service they had had and the support they'd had from us was, was there. And, you know, we, we kind of get judged on crime and, you know, we've been looking at some crime numbers and burglary's gone down by 30 odd percent across 10 years. That's really important because it's a crime that matters. It's a crime that it's been recorded pretty consistently, but actually the support and the safeguarding and the work we do with vulnerable people is, is what we do day in, day out. And we need to be innovative, we need to have integrity, we need to always reach out, we need to prepare to listen, we need to prepare to use tech and science and what we do with data, those are the big challenges going forwards. But the bottom line is, we do that with local communities and if we move with local communities as they change, and they will change, and you know, 
I've been policing over three decades. I'm dealing with things now that literally weren't invented. Uh, what we wear has changed. Um, the kit that we issue has changed. Handhelds, laptops, body-worn video have all become commonplace. What we do in collaboration with other forces has changed. The way we investigate murder, the way we deal with counterterrorism, all done now regionally. We've rebuilt police stations, we've rebuilt Wigston, we rebuilt Loughborough. Uh, and also the governance has changed and I was appointed by the police authority. Uh, the police authority doesn't exist anymore uh, and we've had the police and crime commissioners uh, now since 2012. There's a great saying that culture eats strategy for breakfast and I think that's true. Um, and, you know, we try and design our service to be as efficient and effective as we can be. And, you know, we've had private consultants, we've consulted our own people, we've designed how we're structured. Um, there's a Maya Angelou quote about people won't remember what you said, they won't remember what you did, but they will remember how you made them feel. I think that's the big thing, you know, and, and I've been on every course you can possibly go on in policing and I've been on the command course and I've delivered the command course as I got a bit older in service. But the bottom line is it, it, we're a people business. Uh, how we deal with our own people and how we deal with the public is what makes or breaks us.